Many people in Sioux Falls are coming home tonight to find their plowed in cars are missing from the street. Earlier today, police finished ticketing all the abandoned vehicles, and now it's a matter for the towing companies to haul them away. We sent Couple Lands Perry Groton on Snowbird Patrol to follow the process from the ticketing to the towing. The phone at Lightning Towing has been ringing nonstop. Hey, Time for it. The company has contracted with the city to tow the plowed in vehicles ticketed by police this week. You got to take care of the police first, so I mean, we got to do the snow bridge before the customer calls. But they're both busy. Police have ticketed all the snowbirds they could find throughout the city. Now, the grace period has ended, and that means the car owners can be on the hook for hundreds of dollars in fines and towing costs. We don't want to tow cars. We want people to willingly move those cars. Granted, if it's plowed in, it's going to be some hard work to get that car out, but it's going to save you $300. Towing just one vehicle can be a drawn out process because the tow truck operator first has to dig out the car, and the more snow it's buried underneath, the longer it's going to take. We have these plows, plow the snow around them, and then we get three feet of snow to dig through and to get to every single one of them. The job can get even more challenging when confronted by an angry car owner. Sometimes they rush out on us, and sometimes they're mad, and we just tell them to call and talk to the police. Or if we're already hooked up, they'll have to pay before we drop it. Lightning Towing expects to remain busy through the weekend, towing vehicles in town and along the interstate. Each call means reducing the flock of snowbirds roosting along the snowy streets. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Sioux Falls police have ticketed more than 500 vehicles since New Year's Day. Yesterday alone, they issued 203 tickets.